from the start again. Instant, no fuel, uh, no throttle used, just, oh, I'm well happy. Great stuff. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're back out on the Porsche 924 and in particular, the job that I need to do today is one of these, the warm-up regulator. It's a key component piece of the fuel system and it is the final stop, I believe, that I need to make in order to fix the issue that I have with the cold start of my Porsche 924. There's uh, a bunch of little pieces in here that um, you have to be very careful with removing a number of uh, screws there to take this apart and refurbish the inside. They can get a bit clogged up and uh, potentially the metallic strip in there that helps regulate the fuel uh, potentially could be broken. So I need to remove the one on the car. I have this one as a spare, so I have backup. And uh, we're gonna get through refurbishing, taking this apart and, and making sure that it's doing the job it should do. Big shout out to Brigadier Hashtag 7 on Instagram, you can follow him, who's gone through this process and shared some helpful hints and tips for me. So let's get out there, let's get it off the car and start you know, working down through the uh, warm-up regulator. Okay, so we have the warm-up regulator here, which is attached to the air manifold, as you can see on the side, and is an integral part of the fuel system working as it should. You can see here that we have an electrical connector, and just here at the back, if that will zoom in, okay are two fuel pipes that are connected to the unit itself so that uh, is how this unit starts to regulate the pressure of the fuel system be a cold start or running warm or general conditions when you ask for more power and all of that good stuff so those uh, fuel pipes as you see are a part of the setup that goes along to the fuel distributor and uh, the pipes are feed back to the fuel tank depending on the pressure required and so on. Now if you'd seen previous videos I had to put my hand through the air <coughs> intake to the, the plate that sits within the airflow meter and just raise it to get uh, fuel pressure to start the car. Now that's something that this unit should be doing, I hope. <laughs> um, obviously there is a secondary piece which is this one here, the cold start valve, which uh, I've tried uh, three of them now. So it, yeah, I mean, once I get this one sorted, refurbished, cleaned, and we know that's not the issue, then yeah, the final step could be the cold start valve. And if that doesn't work, then it's most likely down there, the thermo switch. <laughs> So, step by step, we are going through the process of elimination. Oh joy. So, let's uh, remove this from the car now. It's two uh, Allen hex head bolts, I believe. Just, you can see one just on the top there and one underneath and uh, let's get going.
Okay, so we finally removed the unit and uh, you probably saw I was struggling um, with the way the unit is fitted to uh, or bolted to the air manifold. It's um, that bolt, the hex bolt there sits right underneath. So the leverage you've got between where it sits and the coil or ignition coil uh, is limited so yeah I, I found it a little bit easier to remove the cold starter valve that pipe just uh, so I could get a wrench in there or socket wrench just to crack it off and then the bolts themselves are quite uh, quite long so obviously it winds out quite a bit but um, yeah, that's that's where it seats, just against there. Now, time to strip this down and see what's what inside. So here is the warm-up regulator, the one removed from my Porsche 924, and I am just going to do a quick visual inspection. Firstly, the connectors and I'll do a continuity test there but everything should be okay there because obviously it was running when it was on the car and then here this is uh, quite interesting if you can just make out if that focuses okay you can see that the first gauze there going into the regulator itself is uh, yeah, contaminated with some sort of dirt and grit and what have you whether or not that would cause an issue with flow potentially not sure but um this is why we're now going to disassemble it and give it a good clean now the trick with this as you can see are screw heads or flathead screws in each corner and what you don't want to be doing is rounding those screws off or breaking them in any way because it will be a nightmare so yeah getting a decent sized screw driver flathead to make sure that they fit perfectly even with a ratchet just to crack them off um should do the trick so let's get on and uh, get this one opened up regulators apart this one being the one that's just been removed from my car and this is the spare one that I had and I think just from the initial perception that you will see this one is much worse than the current one that I have on the car so I've just cleaned up around the edges obviously gave the the gauze and uh, inlet and outlet Passageways are good clean and they look to be good. I did have some debris in there as you saw earlier on, but uh, they look to be good. And the inside of mine definitely looks, well, it looks uh, almost new. I mean, it's great. Um, I, I don't particularly really see the need to take it apart. I think um, what I am going to do, just going to just gonna have a, a quick look around this one and... Um, I'm going to do a bit of a test with the multimeter and just see if everything is as it should be in terms of uh, continuity and stuff. Uh, I have seen tests where people run power through these, like a 12, uh, 12 volt uh, power to see if the, the ceramic uh, element actually heats this and, uh, and bends it. I haven't got that, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Home building 
without the tools. But uh, anyway, I will continue to look on through this and uh, maybe that I've cleaned this up and give it a, a bit of greasing around the edge and then just put it back together. And yeah, maybe we'll move on and uh, get this back in the car. Okay, so we are all buttoned up. Everything is back in place and looking neat and tidy. All the electrical connections are in the right place and the right order, which is great. Uh, all the fuel lines went together with new copper washers, as you can see. And everything looks good, so let's give it a try and see if we've managed to solve the cold start issue. Let's turn it on. Let's hope this does it. Wow, I don't believe it. It's just started first time, like on the button. That is unreal. It can't have been that. <laughs> wow, would you believe it? It could be. So this car's been sat overnight. It's freezing cold. Uh, I haven't tried to start it before. I took the warm up regulator off. I've cleaned it inside and out, resealed it, put everything back together, cleaned the fuel lines that connect it, and the car's fired instantly. As you can see, it's cold, so it's ticking over at about 800 revs. And as the car gets warmer, it will drift towards the 1000s. It's, it's, I think it's about 900, just over 900 revs. So. I am so happy if that is the case, it's just started first time, then the warm-up regulator was the culprit. Woohoo! Okay, let's turn off the key again. Let's just try that from, from the start again. Instant, no fuel, uh, no throttle used, just, oh, I'm well happy. Great stuff, woohoo! On to the next jobs then. Yes, I fixed the cold start issue, finally. <laughs> this is uh, a massive step forward, I have to say. Getting the engine working as it should uh, from cold with a simple turn of the key is music to my ears. It really has been a great day. <laughs> so for those of you who've been following this journey with the fuel system, you would have seen that I've been front to back, back to front, in and out and uh, I finally landed on the warm-up regulator which to be honest I should have started here first I think uh, yeah, there there's a there's a lot of interesting views and tips and hints out there that people say about the fuel systems on 924 and, and they are they, they can be quite intricate there's there's quite a few component pieces from the injectors all the way through back to the back to the uh, the tank itself so if I had started here and had solved it with just the the steps I went through today, which was cleaning it up and uh, just making sure that these inlet and outlet uh, areas were were clean, free of debris. Uh, mine looked uh, looked relatively clean, but there there was debris there, so it, it most likely was a, a cause. And uh, just making sure that the inner parts of the warm up regulator are not. Uh, corroded and, and all of that good stuff. So mine looked pretty new inside. I have to say I, was, I wasn't I was expecting it to, to look that good. So um, 
yeah, that has given it a new lease of life in the car fire straight up. Now, if I had started here, like I say, I would have, wouldn't have probably done the other job. So I'm, I'm quite pleased I, I sort of didn't um, in, in, a, in a good way because now I have a new fuel, fuel pump, excuse me, and uh, I have all the new piping, the accumulator and all of that has been refurbed. This has now been sorted and cleaned and the car is running great. I mean, literally no throttle, straight uh, on the key, starts up and is staying perfectly. There's no sort of hunting or, 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 or strange mishaps when it's idling over. Um, so yeah, really chuffed, really chuffed that we got through that. Now, the next thing for me to get through really is to sort out the fog light issues now i started that but i've got to the fuse box that is where i've got to now work from the fuse box back through to the battery and find out what the issue is and where we have the the problem and uh once that is buttoned up i can then get the car in for an mot and potentially get it back on the road for the first time in three years come on <laughs> so yeah great uh great day today i hope you've enjoyed the video uh, it's been up and down <laughs> with every one, every video that I do. But um, yeah, please, if you if you do like uh, the videos that I'm putting out, please you know drop a like. Any comments, please drop them below, and uh, please subscribe and follow me on YouTube and Instagram. And uh, the next video will be along next week. Thanks for watching.